Hello and welcome. This is Mark from MWP Arts Creative Journey. And today I am going to share a loose painting. And it is a still life of a mug of coffee. And I'm going to try to do it all with one brush. A size 10 bright. Let's see here. Uh, a 10 silver bristle on bright. But I reserve the right to use an eight um, cat's tongue from the Art Sherpa Silver Company. And I have a selection of colors I'm going to use, pretty much all of them. Nap red light, a red oxide is the main color for this um, back that I've already gessoed, uh, tinted with a red oxide and cad red and I think there was a little bit of orange in it originally and I'm going to use a lism crimson cad red ye cad yellow uh, yellow light titanium white ultramarine diazium purple southern turquoise ocean blue and yellow ochre and I am going to be doing it on a, oh, I think it's a seven and a half by ten and a half piece of paper, and it is a 200 pound watercolor paper. And what I did with that is I took it and scored it slightly, and then folded it, and then took it straight edge and tore it, and so it's got that torn look. And then I took it and I gessoed it. And this is gesso. And we tinted the colors that I mentioned above. And then I took, a, just to get the general shape of the, what the cup that I was looking at at the time, in with some chalk. And then I drew my horizon lines for the table that it's going to be sitting on. And I'm going to be focusing on, you know, light, medium, and then dark. Uh, for the sides of the cup here and then also up above you know darker on this side of the of the um oh, the wall that's behind it and a little bit lighter and then down below i want to have it a lighter table with the shadow and stuff like that so let me get started here i'm going to put out the colors at least for my mug right now I'm going to start off with some diazium purple and white. Okay, so diazium purple and some so I'm going to take off my screen for now and we just can look at the desktop. There we go. white all these lids of the gold and paint sometimes can be tricky but the paints themselves are nice and creamy so start off with some white there I end up getting more white on there later on so set those to the side somewhere and I want for my cup also some, well, I'm going to have some turquoise blue in there, but I may have to dry in between. We'll find out if it, if it works or not. Also, there's that's, that, that's the Batiste's um, Southern Ocean Blue. And I just dropped that bit of white and pull some of the purple into that. There we go. Maybe a little bit darker. And maybe a little bit of ocean blue into that mix. And maybe a little more of that ocean blue in there. There. That's just gonna, I'm just going to get the, the base color of my cup in there. And starting off with the tin bright brush. And that might be too much purple. Let's see here. And we'll pour some of the, of the blue in there. And I'm just going to put that on any any old direction, you know, maybe a couple of streaks up and down. And then I'll probably put some layers of 
whites later on in step two on that side because that's going to be my lighter side. So maybe I'll start off with it being a little bit lighter over there too. Just so I know how much is going to be on the lighter side there. And this chalk might get in the paint a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay. Now get a sharper edge on there. There we go. How's that looking? Ooh, that looks good. Now I'm gonna get this other side just a little bit darker now. Looks like I've already dipped into the Southern Ocean Blue, and why not? What the heck? Let's see if it rides on top. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, that looks kind of cool. And like I said, I'm experimenting with the colors here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, I'll do that, and maybe a streak across the bottom. Yeah, I like that. And a little bit more at the top. And maybe into the handle a little bit of that Southern Ocean Blue since I got it on the brush already. And streaked in there. Okay, but now the rest of it on farther to the right is going to be mainly the purple and darker because it's going to be the shadowed area of the mug. I mean, for a lot of you people that are artists or have experience with painting I know you already understand the concept of shadow but I am learning and I have practiced a couple of times and I'd like to share with you real quick before things get dry so this is the paper here I started with you know it was just a piece of paper and it's like it's 200 weight and then I adjusted it and then I have done a test thing of this and I've already maybe shared a little of this just on my some of my media sites of a coffee cup I did and it was or tea whatever you want to call it it was a different color scheme of course and and what I did with that is I mounted it onto the back of a, a canvas board you can put it on canvas board or you can put it on a um, oh, framing what is it called mat board and I used just some uh, soft gel medium underneath and make sure and press it down real hard after you put glue on both sides not glue but soft gel medium on both sides of the surface and press it down with some you know even pressure and firm pressure until it's stuck on there and uh, let it dry and it's mounted on there really good and it has that cool edge of being you know a little rough and it has that black background so I thought it was a cool way of sharing and mounting your paintings so back to my painting here
Okay, I'm back with this final product here. And I did not attach all the ways, but what I did do is I lined it up on a black canvas board and the size was, I will double check the size, it is a nine by 12. Because the size that I cut here was like seven and a half by 10 and a half, I think, size watercolor paper that I did acrylics on. And this is the final product, what it looks like. And when it's, you know, glued down with a gel medium, um, it'll attach and everything. And then you can spray either UV, um, uh, Krylon UV protection to clear coat it, or you can use a varnish on top of it. You can, you know, brush it on the soft brush or spray it on with the Krylon coating and anyway so make sure and check out uh, some of my other videos that I've done and I'll just put some color on canvas and take care and see you later bye